Welcome back to the channel. We have another quick update. This was initially going to be just an update on what happens to your fixed deposits with VOLD while you're waiting on your KYC. But while I was preparing to do this video, my KYC has been completed. So two for one. And basically, I'm pleasantly surprised it took just under an hour, literally 59 minutes from submission of KYC to verification that the KYC was complete and verified and that I was restored to having full access to my account. With that being said, during the interim, during that 59 minute period when I thought that my um, fixed deposits had been eliminated or reset, I was actually incorrect about that. I was basing that assumption on the fact that using the app on my phone, I was not able to see the, uh, the fixed deposit information. But on the Vault website, uh, as you can see, fixed deposit information is here. And even after the KYC was complete, this didn't change. Uh, one thing I really like about the way it handles fixed deposits is it tells you how much you have deposited. Uh, how much time you have remaining. Um, it does a better day, um, a better a better job of telling you how many days until uh, your deposit will be mature or complete on the, on the app on the phone, and I'll show you that in a moment. But it shows you how much you've deposited and how much will be paid out and what the payout date is, and then you get a percent completed. You have options on whether or not you want to auto-renew it. So you can do auto-renew on, and then you can have it renew the principal and the interest or the principal only. So if you do the principal and interest, you're basically doing automatic compounding. If you do the principal only, it's kind of like what um, the way Crypto.com's earn program works, where it pays out every week and it pays out into one, you know, into your main wallet, whereas the amount that you have uh, invested or staked, if you will, will remain static and continue paying out a constant amount every week. So um, I actually like to I actually like to turn the auto renew off because during during the week, during the month, I'm oftentimes you know um, obtaining more assets or receiving referrals or commit referral payments or commissions uh, and other types of bonuses like that. And so when I like to roll them over, if you, uh, for lack of a better term. So there's that. And if you were to opt out, basically, you would be paid out your interest up to that point right now. And so instead of doing that, like I said, I just add in what what accumulates over the course of the week and, of course, uh, the course of the month. So uh, this is just a small sample of some of the things I have fixed deposits set up for. We've got some uh, pancake swaps and USDT, some AXS, and um, some other things. And you can come over here and it'll tell you how much uh, interest it's paying out for the fixed deposit. So right now, the AXS, 40.0%. The pancake swap, 42.58%. USDC, 12.68%. And that's it's across the board for stable coins on Vault, 12.68%. Uh, Bitcoin, 6.7 percent. Ethereum, 6.7, and uh, USDT again, 12.68 um, for any of the stable coins. So this is what it looks like if you check out the fixed deposit status on the on the Vault website. And now we will segue over into taking a look at how things look on the app on your phone. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you access your fixed deposit information on the app. You can scroll up and down this thing. You can see once again, we've got our AXS, our Axie Infinity, USDC, our pancake swap. So um, it's in a little bit of a different order than what you saw on the, uh, on the website. But I really like the way it covers this. It tells you your active fixed deposits. And as you look down, you can see it's got this uh, circular pie graph type thing, 26 out of 30 days. It has your, pie, your payout date, 21 out of 30 days, 18 out of 30 days, 
15 out of 30 days, and so on. It really gives you a better visual, quick representation of the status of your fixed deposits and when you can expect them to pay out. So that's what it looks like on the website versus on the app on your phone.